What's going on everyone? Force back from Family Firearms. We're lucky enough to get two CZ brand twos. So we're gonna do a double unboxing for you. We got one in 5.56 and one in 7.62 six, by 39. We'll start with the 5.56 pistol here. So they're all being imported as pistols as of yet. This guy, it's pretty sweet. So standard CZ box with the cutout, Scar-esque, you know, they spend the money on the gun, not the box. Cool thing is they both come with uh, two magazines. The 5.56 Bren is going to accept any of the standard, standard GI style pattern magazines, P mags, etc. You also get a nice cleaning kit from CZ, which is kind of cool. First time we saw one, like, oh, it's pretty nice. It's pretty in depth too, so save some money that way. Keep up on the cleaning of this bad boy. So, we got this guy out of here. It's substantially lighter than the previous generation. You've got M-Lock up top and on the bottom, which is nice. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of aftermarket for that down the road. They're all half by 28 threaded. Uh, they come with these uh, flip up iron sights, which actually have tritium inserts in them, which is actually pretty rad. Probably the first time I've seen that from a manufacturer, including tritium iron sights. The charging handle is non-reciprocating. Um, they also included this rear back plate, which is also threaded for your standard AR buffer tubes if you want to SBR it, or if you want to throw a brace on it, you're ready to go. It's a carbon um, fiberglass kind of style uh, lower receiver that is extremely strong and reliable. Um, the bolt catch is also pretty sick. It's caught right up under the trigger guard, so you can pretty much have a Magpul bad lever built into it, and just depress it, sends it home, Everything's there, 100% ambidextrous. The safety is a lot slicker than the previous generation. The trigger itself is really nice. Uh, there's a bit of over travel, but HP's already got you covered there with the new trigger kit. The piston itself has a nice little mechanism that you're gonna be able to push down and adjust your gas to whatever setting you want. It's a lot easier even if it gets gunked up um, to kind of power through that. So here's the 5.56. It's awesome, 11.5, 11, 11 that guy's gonna be pretty ideal. All that dwell time, you guys get into ballistics. And going on to the second one, we got a 14.5 inch 7.62 Bruin 2. So this guy, same as the previous one, you got your tritium iron sights, non-reciprocating charging handle, all the same ambidextrous features, the same end plate that's gonna be able to take any of your stocks if you decide you wanna pin and weld this. Um, this guy does take a proprietary magazine, but it's cool that they also give you two. These mags are really robust feeling. They also have a window in the back, so you can kind of keep track of your, your round count there, similar to the window P mags. Um, they just slide right up in there nice and easy, really positive click. These guys are pretty insane. I can't wait to have a few more of them in here and get one myself. But if y'all are interested, we got a few of them in stock. Thanks for watching, have a great night.